Hello, my name is Eden Brown and I'm in sixth grade at La Scuola Middle School. I have three sisters and two loving parents. My dad owns a, an amazing kombucha company called Counterculture Kombucha. My family drinks kombucha every day. If you don't know what kombucha is, it's a healthy probiotic drink that contains tea and it originated in Asia of over 2,000 years ago. Dr. Kombu brought kombucha from China to Japan to help the emperor with his digestive issues. You may also ask, what are the benefits of kombucha? Well, it improves digestion, it improves immunity, and it reduces stress and anxiety. Kombucha is made by a process of fermenting black tea, sugar, and a symbiotic process between bacteria and yeast. On our campus at La Scola, we have a starfruit tree. We were picking the starfruit so we could juice them and add it to my dad's kombucha to make some more flavor. Hi, I'm a student from La Scola uh, Elementary and Middle School. I'm from seventh grade. My name is Jose, and uh, here today we'll be interviewing Eden Thad. Uh, first question for you, um, when was the company founded? Uh, 2013. 2013? Good. Uh, question number two. How did you uh, learn to make kombucha and has your process changed since you started? Um, I learned to make it from recipes out of books and recipes off the web and a recipe that was given to me by my mother. She gave me my initial culture. It's also a nickname, a mother. Oh. And I still have the generational lineage from that original culture. So or would you say your mother introduced you to it? Yes, and gave me my first mother. And uh, I'm most proud of the fact that I have not changed my recipe, even from switching from a home brewer to a commercial brewer. I'm very proud of the fact that we've kept a very traditional recipe, even while transitioning to producing it for a business. Well, speak of the devil, because our, our next question was, uh, is there a secret recipe and have you changed it at all? No, there's real no secrets to kombucha. Yeah. It's time and patience and a little bit of country music. We play a certain set of music in the kitchen for the microorganisms. They like and prefer country music. Um, have you taught anyone in your family yet how to make kombucha? Um, yes, my sister, my kids, and some family members that already knew how to make kombucha. I'll give them pointers and tips on how to maybe correct something that's going wrong with their brew. Uh, but um, but yes, yeah, so hopefully my kids by now know how to brew it. Well, that brings up another question. Um, does anyone else in your family uh, make kombucha? No, no, they just drink it. But uh, I'd like them to start making it at home for themselves. All right. Uh, do you intend to pass down the company to one of your children? Not actively, more of passively. If the kids wanted to run the business, then it would be up to them. But I'm not actively passing it down. It would be up to one of the kids that would want to continue uh, producing commercial kombucha. What role has uh, kombucha played in your life? Uh, well, it, uh, it changed my diet and my lifestyle. It made me think about how to eat healthy, um, live healthy and take better care of myself, take control of my own uh, health and wellness, don't rely on other people, uh, the medical community, doctors, neighbors and friends to tell me what I need to do, take a more active role and, and find a course for my health and wellness. I was not expecting that, was a, that, was, that was cool. Um, do you uh, use local ingredients and do you have any relationships with local farmers? Uh, yes, that might be what makes my kombucha, our kombucha, so special. Is I think we source from some of the best farmers in the area. We care a lot about the environment, sustainability. They farm for the right reasons. And uh, we do a, um, a lot of vetting of our farmers. And we rely on the farmers we, we like the best. So yes, I, I'm very proud of the produce that our farmers supply to us. And I think it rivals some of the organic produce you find in the supermarket. And frankly, I think it's much better. So would you say that that's your most 
distinctive aspect of your kombucha and that's what makes you different from other kombucha producers? Yeah, I think we get our flavors at the peak ripeness and we get it from farmers that really truly care about the land and what they're producing and put their love and energy into what they're growing. I think that flavor comes forward in our kombucha. So, uh, yes, I love to give credit to our farmers. What they grow down here is, is truly wonderful. Uh, how do you think uh, other cultures can embrace kombucha? Like, um, A lot of cultures do. The Russians, it goes by a different name there, Tikovas, but the Russians already believe it. what makes their culture so hearty is their fermented foods and beverages. Um, kombucha is a derivative of a Chinese word for tea, which is cha. It's Chinese culture is familiar with kombucha, and they decided to sort of take credit for the origin of the, uh, of the beverage. Oh. So there are cultures that already um, drink it and have been for generations and generations. Also, you, so when you say the Chinese um, combine cha and kombu, the doctor, and make kombucha? Sounds like you've done your research. That is a theory, but it is a great story, and maybe it's true. It certainly makes for a good story. Uh, where is your product found? Like, where do you sell this? Where, where can you find it? We sell to a lot of mom and pop local stores, uh, coffee shops, juice bars, vegan cafes, small grocers, uh, just small businesses that like to have craft items that you can't get at a supermarket. Um, it attracts uh, foot traffic away from big retailers, big commercial corporations. I don't know if this is true or not, so um, I wanted to ask you, do you guys sell at Milan? I heard someone told me that you guys sell at Milan's Market. Milan's Market, yes, I think they have four locations. They're about to open a fifth. We're in two of their uh, current four locations. Good. Um, do you have any stories on how kombucha has impacted one of your customers? Like? Uh, well, I get to hear directly from my customers when we sell retail at farmer's markets. We've been doing farmer's markets since the start. Um, but absolutely, uh, new customers that come back and tell them, tell me how much it's helped with a, a certain ailment of theirs or chronic um, problem they've been dealing with. Or um, customers that didn't necessarily drink my brand, but that have been drinking kombucha for years, for decades, and it said that helped cure some of their diseases. Um, and I've had customers that come and tell me kombucha changed their life. and It means something to me because it certainly changed my life. Thank you for this interview. You're welcome. And this step of flavoring kombucha, I would consider a mocktail kombucha. This is flavoring after your kombucha is finished fermenting. There's also a process of flavoring where you do it before fermentation is finished and that's where you're infusing flavors into the kombucha. Um, this part of flavoring where you're adding juice to the finished product is more of like making a kombucha mocktail, uh, mixing two items together, kombucha and in this case, juiced star fruit. So this is the process of making a starfruit kombucha mocktail.